Hello and uh, thanks for dropping by and having a look. Uh, today I'm going to be fixing these Sony headphones. These are WH-910 and uh, they have a real common problem that Sony headphones of this type have. The, the little slider bracket uh, breaks and makes them pretty much useless. Um, you can wrap a bunch of duct tape around it all but the, the headphone doesn't sit right on your head. Uh, so I'm going to fix this with uh, pretty simple uh, tools and materials. Uh, if you're uh, reasonably handy, it's not a, not a very difficult thing to do. Uh, you can also buy a kit to replace all this. Now, I'm in Canada, so by the time I buy the kit and get it shipped up here and pay everything, I might as well buy new headphones to about two-thirds the cost. So that's why I uh, did this. Here are the basic things you're going to need for this uh, project. Uh, some super glue, uh, some drywall uh, fiberglass tape. If, if you don't feel like buying a spool of that and you don't have anybody that you can borrow some from, people have also used, uh, can also use uh, dental floss. It's super strong. You just anchor it at one end and you, you just basically wrap it over and over and over again uh, 10, 15 times. That works pretty good. And uh, sandpaper, I used uh, like a medium, kind of 120, 180 grit. And when you're working with super glue, a uh, couple of rubber gloves, always nice uh, to keep it off your fingers. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take this little bottom broken piece off. Just a couple little screws here on the bottom. You don't have to do this, it just makes it easier to work. Now when this is all back together, this is going to go on on the front of that. This will be up here. I, a couple of times I've done this, I always have a look and get a sense of what is sliding past what so that I don't end up putting uh, something in the way of, of where the sliding goes on uh, so that you uh, so it can't, can't slide anymore. But per, fairly safe to put a, a strip on these ones of... Uh, fiberglass tape down the middle there. Okay, my first step is this goes back on there. That's where that's broken off of. So I'm going to take and I'm going to clean this all up uh, and rough it up a little bit with sandpaper and then I'm going to uh, glue a strip of this as reinforcement onto this as I glue it together uh, with some uh, super glue. Uh, okay, there is piece glued number one. And then I'm going to take, put this strip on the back here and glue that in. It's just way too awkward to uh, show you this while I'm doing it. Next, I'm going to glue this piece back on to there. Just like that. And on the back of here, there's, there's no room for any kind of reinforcing. Uh, so it's just going to be straight super glue, like that. Okay, so that's glued together. Uh, it's going to be fairly delicate, so don't, uh, don't mess with it too much. Uh, maybe I didn't say at the outset I should have. Uh, this repair gets the job done. It doesn't look, make it look like new. And uh, it's not the prettiest thing, but you at least get some headphones out of it that you can use. So this is all dried now. I've got the two pieces that I glued. This piece and this piece. And I'm going to take and run a, a bead of uh, my super glue along there. Uh, I have gel super glue, which is... Uh, probably the better option for this job is, you know, it kind of sticks and allows you kind of some goopiness so you can kind of put stuff there and it stays there. Uh, so anyways, I'm also first going to take and trim off any high spots like this is a little bit, little bit high. I'm going to take a razor knife, trim off anything that seems high and uh, then go away and put it together. Uh, probably the toughest part of this is getting this little wire inside there, the wire, so that it needs to be kind of accordioned uh, because as, as the headphones 
to adjust it. It has to, it has to expand uh, and contract. Got that together pretty well. It's inevitable that you're going to get some uh, glue on things. Uh, but I'm going to spray paint this whole thing black at the end. And that'll cover all that up. I'm um, going to take some clips and clip this thing to uh, hold it in place while it dries. There, got some clips on there. I'm going to let that dry for a bit. Uh, and I haven't mentioned this before, but I will now. I should warn you, this is a, a one-way repair. Once you put this together like this, you are not getting these pieces apart again, short of breaking them uh, again because it's it's uh, super glue, uh, glue and plastic together, so it pretty much joins it, makes it one. So there it is, dried. Uh, this has kind of pulled this whole, these two pieces together and glued them in and kind of made them as one piece of plastic. Uh, that might be good enough just like that, but because I, uh, I'm a worrier, I'm going to make this even stronger by wrapping it with some drywall tape, drywall seam tape, which is fiberglass and super strong. So I'm going to take and wrap it around there and uh, super glue it on. First thing I'm going to do is wash this real good, clean it, and then give it a sand so the uh, super glue can stick better. All right, I've wrapped some drywall, fiberglass drywall tape around here. This stuff is sticky on one side, so it sticks quite nicely. Uh, then I'm going to take some super glue and kind of just start gluing on here. I'm going to try to leave this part, which has the, the hinge part, the hinge area, without any super glue, so I can cut that fiberglass tape out of there and it will actually work work like this side, the, the hinge side. Okay, note, as soon as you apply super glue to the fiberglass tape, it, the fiberglass tape loses its, its adhesiveness and wants to come off. So I'm just going to glue it like that for now, let this dry, and then once it's dry, do the, the wrap around again, because if I try to do the wrap around, I think this is just gonna kind of come loose here and fly up. All right, the last little bit here. I've uh, applied super glue to this section, and now there's just this one last little bit I gotta super glue down. Uh, what I found, if I super glue this whole thing at once, the stickiness of, uh, of the drywall tape, the fiberglass tape, uh, goes away and it wants to come off. But if I just put a couple of drops of super glue along here, that kind of tacks it down. And then I can go and do the whole thing. And I got a rubber glove on here so I can kind of spread the super glue around a bit. Like that. And then I also, you see I cut out this area here. So the uh, hinge of the Headphones will continue to work. So that's the final product after I sprayed it with some uh, flat black paint. Uh, hinge works. You know, it wouldn't stand out significantly and you got a set of headphones that can work for you. Uh, and that repair is going to be stronger than the uh, original, no question. So thank you very much for watching.